Hello and welcome to another episode of YouTube News. So yesterday on the 2nd of May, YouTube announced a preview of their new layout for the website named Polymer. Um, at the moment, this is just, you know, sort of a tryout. You can turn it on if you want. Um, I'm assuming quite positively going from other YouTube updates and the way they've done this in the past, this will be rolling out sort of across the board and will be the way YouTube looks or very similar. Uh, at the moment you can turn it on and you can turn it off. Don't ask me when it's going to be a permanent thing, but I can almost guarantee it's going to be. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the announcement that they've made so basically starting today we're opening up a preview of the new design to a small group of people from around the world so that we can get feedback while we hope you'll love what we've been working on we're also really excited to involve the youtube community so we can make the site even better sharing it more broadly so basically the things that they have concentrated on is simplicity, consistency and beauty. We'll be taking a look at those and comparing the old layout with the new layout in just a moment. So further on in this they go on to explain that the new framework is called Polymer as I said earlier. It's based on there is somewhere where they say what it's based on but it's not in this part here it's probably in the in the other part anyway let's go on over and click on youtube.com forward slash new all the links to these uh, articles and stuff i will leave in the description so you can read through for yourself so let's go on a look so here we go try out our fresh look for youtube uh, so we'll click on that in just a moment so again they emphasize a new clean design uh, one new feature they have brought out is the dark theme which is more of a visual thing there's no actual added features that i've found as of yet um, it's all sort of just cosmetic at this point uh, so it, they're saying it's built for the future. So basically got a completely new design built on a fr faster framework That means they can roll out features faster such as the dark theme and there's more to come So whether that means there's more color schemes coming or just more features coming. It's not quite clear at this point So we're opening up the preview for a small number of people as it said earlier uh, And remember you can return to the current YouTube design help make the site better so let's go to youtube because uh your button at the bottom there might appear different i've already turned on the new youtube layout so it's a little bit different so this is what your new youtube homepage will look like uh first things first you will notice along the top your menu icons have disappeared from the top um, previously your home trending and subscriptions were across the top here we'll just so we'll just pop on over to the old layout and you'll see what i'm uh, talking about you have your home and trending subscriptions are just off so i'll turn on this menu so everything looks sort of uh, similar on both so as I said, that menu has disappeared and is just on the left hand side. Uh, if you don't see that menu when it's turned on, you just press the three buttons that are at the top next to the YouTube icon and they appear. One thing that I have find, found slightly annoying at the moment, this is only on desktop at the moment. I mean, this feature is only rolled out on desktop anyway. When you move your mouse pointer from one side to the other, you'll notice all of the uh, video boxes, all of this whole side or moves over a couple of pixels, which if you notice on the old one, it didn't do that. So I think that's just a slight design flaw at the moment and I'm really hoping that gets fixed. But that's just one little bug that I found, which is not a major thing, but anyway, let's move along and see what else has changed. One of the other major things that have changed on here is channel names are now a lot more prominent on the youtube homepage. so we'll go over to the old one and it's you know it, it's in blue uh when you hover over it it's in gray when you don't hover over it you know it doesn't really stand out but now the channel names are a lot more prominent than they used to be and on the verified channels now the tick is now a circle as opposed to a rectangle so if you notice on the old ones it was sort of a gray rectangle 
and again the verified button on the old one would sort of appear over when you hover over it and on the other one it appears underneath uh, the other thing that they have done is with the amount of views on videos these have been sort of rounded or truncated sort of thing so you notice on here it says like 29,000 views 70,000 views you know and on and on and on on the old layout it would give you exactly how many views that video has received so that's one thing that they've changed there as well another thing that they have changed is again slight cosmetic change when you hover over the video you have your watch later icon now when you hover over it now it doesn't actually tell you what that button is so for a new user that could be a little bit confusing as to what that is on the old layout here when you hover over it it's on the bottom of the screen and when you hover over it it does actually tell you what it is so again i think that's just a slight sort of a uh, bug one of the other things that they have added here is on the three icon three buttons that are here when you click on this now you now get three options as opposed to one on the previous uh, layout when you click on that you just got the not interested option but on the new layout you still get your not interested option but you can add it directly to your watch later list and you can add it directly to a playlist straight from here so say if you see the video and you think oh yeah i don't want to watch that now you know i'll watch it later on it's easy to add that to your watch later you know straight from that menu although i don't not too sure why they've added the icon here and down here oh sorry uh, actually it does come up with watch later it just seems to not come up all the time for some strange reason because yeah it's not coming up there again now so again, there's going to be a few bugs in the system and things not loading properly until this is fully implemented. So let's head on over and see what the actual channel pages look like now. The first thing you'll notice is at the top of your channel now, the channel art now fills up the entire width of your browser. In the last one, this is also full screen, you'll see that it doesn't actually fill out and everything was sort of centered on your, on your screen. So again, everything is still centered, but it's it fills out the entire width of your video. And one thing I've actually noticed is your channel art scales a lot better now than it used to. So what I mean is when you look at your your channel in different size browsers, the channel art scales down a lot easier. So I can go all the way down to here and it, you know, completely, you know, scales down your channel art. The rest of the layout sort of looks a little bit odd because you'd never have it this, this, uh, <laughs> to this extreme. But basically, if you, if we sort of go, say, around here and I go back to my old layout, you'll see over on the right hand side here, it's chopped off, you know, half of my banner. But you go over here and it's scaled it in a lot handier. So that's going to be a lot easier and a lot better for graphic designers and people with branding that want to make their channel a lot more consistent. They don't have to worry now about putting things on the edge and worry about it being chopped off. Because that's why on here I left so much space on this side because I was worried about that part being cut off. So now it's not something you have to worry about as much. One of the other things that you may have noticed is your icon is no longer in the top left hand corner. It now appears directly underneath your channel. One other minor little detail is with the links that you have on your channel banner. It looks a lot cleaner now and there's no space in between the first link and your second links. So you'll see here, this is my first link, and you see there's this tiny little gap, and the rest of your icons appear here. It just basically looks a lot cleaner, <laughs> is, is the, the easiest way that I can sort of uh, describe this. So we'll just scroll down a bit and take a look at the rest of the videos. Now, one thing you may have noticed is as soon as I went to my channel page, my featured video started automatically playing. Now, this was a feature, you know, that was enabled before, and I actually turned the autoplay feature off, and I think YouTube disabled it for a while, but now they seem to have turned this back on again. 
So I will also go on new visitors here because for some reason when you go to the new layout, it doesn't, you know, give you the view for returning subscribers. It just, you know, makes it look as though it's uh, for new subscribers. Uh, again, I think that's just a slight uh, glitch in the system. So we still have the same uh, options all along the top. You have home, videos, playlist, channels, discussion, and about. So you still have these all here, but you'll notice on the new layout, they're a lot wider and things are a lot bigger and easier to see. You'll also notice the icon, as I said earlier, has moved next to the channel name. So that's at the side here. A couple of things that they seem to have taken away at the moment is the channel tips box, your featured channels and related channels. On the new layout, these don't actually appear anywhere on your new page. So I'm not too sure if again, that's just a slight glitch, you know, in the programming or whether they're just doing away with that at this point, I don't know. Because one thing you can't do at the moment is if you're in the new layout and you go to edit layout, it just takes you back to the old uh, sort of layout system. So uh, there's no way of actually knowing if those features have been taken away yet or not. As I, as I said, this update at the moment is just cosmetic. So this is the old uh, layout now. So you notice that my live now uh, box sort of has disappeared so you'll see here that i've enabled that basically when there is a live stream happening it will notify my users of that live stream happening that doesn't appear to be in here anymore so again i don't know if that's something that they're going to be reworking or another way of doing that or whether it's just a slight bug in the graphic system one other major thing that you'll notice is when you scroll down the page your menu now stays along the top so on the old one it still did that, but it was nowhere near as prominent as it is now. I mean, you go along and it's a lot more prominent and stands out. I mean, the font size is a bigger, it's a lot handy if I click on channels. So here we are on the channels tab. So as you can see, everything is nice and clean and you click and there's nice wee sort of like sweeping animation. It does take you straight from one side to the other so the ones in the middle, if it's full up, are going to be lost at this point. But again, I think that's just a slight design flaw. So comparing that to the, so comparing that to the old style, this is what it used to look like before. You just have a little arrow that would move over one and that sort of thing. As you can see, this one has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight channels in the featured channels list on this on this one. And again, on here we have that, but you can only see one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. So again, everything seems to be a lot bigger and a lot easier to see. So the images are bigger, the font sizes are bolder. So on the old one, when you hover over them, the a mini version of the channel art comes up along with the icon the banner you know the you know first line of the description and that sort of thing and that would happen with you know each of the different channels but now with the new one when you hover over it nothing happens now this is the same if you go onto any of the actual channel pages so we'll go over onto the channel page and we'll go to one of their videos, so, sorry, the video watch pages, I meant to say. When you hovered over these before, you would get a small, you know, that sort of, you know, drop down would come up. So if I open up this same video on the old layout, now this will switch temporarily to the new one. So let's do drone sunset. I'll go on here. Yeah, as you can see, what used to happen when you hover over the logo, would you you would get that sort of mini preview of the channel, you know, the name, the first couple of lines of the description. But if you go on to the new layout, that doesn't happen anymore. So that's one thing that's sort of been taken away. And as you as you can see, the even the comments are sort of laid out slightly better. And again, even with each of these users, I can go down on here 
and you know their channel art pages would pop up as you went through now one of, one of the thing you may have noticed is all of the user sort of icons or profile pictures have been changed to a circle so you'll notice on this one this uh, zoe I'm not even going to try and pronounce the rest of that name, but basically this is Zoe one. You can see that it's square on the old layout and on the new one, it's been given a rounded look. Um, it's not so prominent with mine because I already main, made mine round, you know, before this change. So you can see that all of the logos are now rounded as opposed to being square. Now you'll notice also the highlighted comments are now gray instead of blue. So you'll see that Jason Ergo, is the, who's the owner of this channel, it's now in, or it used to be in blue. And again, when you hovered over it, it would come up with that sort of pop up. But now when you go on to it, it doesn't. It's still, it was, if you click on it, it will still take you back to that user's profile. Because as you can see in the bottom corner, just down here, you can see where that's going to take you. Now, within the video watch page itself, there are a couple of aesthetic changes. You'll notice again, they've gone for the full width view here. So the video is still 16 by nine, but it doesn't take up the whole of the screen. Now I'm gonna just change the size of the screen. So the scaling seems to be, you know, sorted a lot better on this one. So this is full size, you know, this this full screen is in 1080. Now what you will notice is the subscribe sort of uh, channel branding icon in the bottom right hand corner now it sort of appears off the video. Whereas with the old one, if I scroll along, it would stay within the actual video itself. It wouldn't appear over here. So this part itself wasn't part of the video player. So if I right click on here, you'll see back, save as, and that sort of thing. And on the new layout, you'll see now that this is actually part of the video player. So that's something that has been changed as well aesthetically so i'm assuming that's in you know preparation for you know a lot more 4k footage coming out and 2.7k footage coming out and even future expansion for 8k footage so we'll just pop out the menu here and see what happens now just to let you guys know i haven't enabled the dark theme yet so we're going to do that now in just a second so again, we're having a few sort of issues with movement when you have this menu out. You can see things start moving about over here when you move from one to the other. So on the old one, when you do that, that doesn't happen. So again, that's just a slight bug in the system. So we're now gonna go on over and enable the dark theme. So to do that, you just click on your icon in the top right hand corner. Now, as you can see, there's a lot more options in there, which I'll go through sort of very quickly in a moment. We'll just turn the dark theme on to start with. Now, the dark theme turns the light surfaces of the dark page, creating an experience ideal for night. Try it out. Your dark theme setting will apply to this browser only. So if you've got multiple browsers, you know, and multiple browser windows and things like that, it's not going to affect those. So we're going to turn that on. And then you can see that everything has gone dark. So I'm just going to pause that again. So we'll just do a quick direct comparison between the light and dark theme. So this is the new dark theme and this is the new sort of normal standard theme. Now you'll notice the top bar doesn't really change that much apart from your search bar, you know, just changes, you know, to a sort of white type of theme, you know, not really much changes there. But if you scroll down, you'll notice, you know, you've got your main standard sort of bits here and then you scroll down on here and a lot, you know, different buttons seem to stand out. Like the subscribe button does stand out a lot more on the dark theme than it does on the bright theme. So I'll just flick between the two. So yeah, there's not too much that have changed. They've basically changed the background and the color of the text just to make it sort of a more high contrasting sort of scheme. Uh, not too sure if I'm a big fan of this. 
I'll just stick with the standard layout for now. This looks more like the YouTube gaming uh, feature that's, you know, some of you have probably seen before. So let's head on back. And we'll actually head on over to a channel that I'm not subscribed to and see what that looks like under the new layout. So I'm just gonna go Hello Kitty so it brings up some channel that I know I'm not subscribed to. So this is the old layout now. So what you'll notice is the subscribe button is over on the left hand side along with the channel name and the icon. On the new channel you still have the icon and the channel name but the subscribe button is now over on the right hand side. So you'll notice it's a lot more prominent and again, they've truncated the amount of subscribers on it. So you'll notice on here, it'll tell you exactly how many subscribers there are. And then on this one, it just tells you a ballpark figure of what those subscribers are. So on the new option, if I click these three tabs here, you just have report video. If I click more actions here, you've got report, transcript and add translation. So a lot of those features seem to be, you know, I wouldn't say they'd be being taken away, but I'd say they're probably being moved somewhere else. So you're getting, in some options, you're getting more options. In others, you're getting less options. So this again is on the old layout. So I click on here and I go, and that just says not interested. And on the new layout, if I click on that, I've got not interested, add to watch later and add to playlist. So as I said, I'm going to have a look now at the menu up at the top. So you'll notice over on your side menu here, the My Channel link has also moved. Um, it's moved over here to your icon page. I can get rid of this menu now. Uh, so we go over here and you've got My Channel. Uh, you've got direct access to create a studio. You can switch your accounts as you did before and sign out. Now, some of the new options, these aren't really new. They've been moved. These options, you know, used to be at the very bottom of the YouTube pages, which was quite hard to get to sometimes. So they've moved them along here. So you, as we saw earlier, we can turn the dark theme on or off from here. You can change your language very easily, which is a very handy uh, feature to have quick access to because I found myself a couple of times for some reason it changed it to really weird languages. Um, you can change your content location. Now, as you can see, I'm currently in Ireland and I've been thinking for a while of changing it back to the United Kingdom. So I'm going to be doing a different video on that in the near future. So you've got restricted mode is also here for turning that on and off. Uh, you have quick access to your settings. You have your help, send feedback and obviously the restore classic YouTube. So we're gonna take a very quick look at the subscriptions tab now, which this one has also been redesigned with the new Polymer layout. Um, not all of the pages have been sort of updated to Polymer as of yet, because uh, I know the upload page and a few others, you know, haven't been changed over yet. So we're not gonna look at those today. But again, this is very reminiscent of the standard home page. So as it said earlier, there's going to be a lot more continuity of the way things look across the website. So this is the new layout and this is what it used to look like on the old layout. I'm actually going to turn off this side menu so you can see directly. So this is the old layout and the new one. So you see everything is a lot bigger and stands out more in your face. Again, the name stands out a lot more. They rounded off the, you know, the numbers. So here it says 58,000 views one hour ago. And down here it's telling you that it's 58,530 views one hour ago. So everything is being sort of simplified and made easier. So if I click on list view, let's uh, check out what that looks like. So here we are with the lists view. So this is the new layout. And if we switch over to the old one, you'll see again, everything is a lot bigger and a lot easier to read. So this is the old one and this is the new one. So again, you can still click on these three ticks here and you have the same options as you had on your main YouTube page. You've got, you know, add to watch later, add to playlist, or you can hide this option. Obviously, because this is your subscription, you can get slightly different options on the old one 
you click on there and you just have your hide option. So that has been my sort of quick overview of the new YouTube Polymer layout. Um, I know this video did end up being quite long, but I just wanted to show all of the different things that I'd sort of found that are different and compare the differences between the two before YouTube decides to roll this out full time across to everyone. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please don't forget you can comment down below or you can get me on Twitter at JamesLS. My links are up in the banner on my page. You can just search for James Lawson Smith on Google if you want, it will find me as well. So again, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time.